but the appeal is the same for our time. The Lord is very generous towards his creatures, and each age seems to have someone somewhere who has some kind of gift, which is for us an opening on the invisible. Like the Crevas, Jean-Marie Vianney, St. Padre Pio of Pietro Alcina, knew things, saw things, foresaw things. And he was very keen that confession should be taken very seriously. He's someone to be invoked. And he's still very much around. As in his own time, he was out and about, even by, by location. So too in our own time, he is very active. He does things in amazing ways when invoked. Many, many are the testimonies that over the years I've had. In Italy, there is a massive devotion out there to him. Way before he was canonized, we used to have a monthly mass in remembrance of him in our little church near the monastery. And one day when about to celebrate it, I was met by an elderly gentleman. He and his friend, before the war, had gone to see Padre Pio. And he had told them, the one will return, the other will not. And so it was. While in Italy, I would be spending much time hearing confessions, and there things would come out as well. Stories would come. People had encountered him. He'd helped them miraculously. And he'd even been seen by this one or that one. I wrote this after confessing for a long time in a confession box and hearing this story. Lo visto, said the lady. I saw him. Oh, pious soul, the whole of humankind upon thy suffering drew. For Calvary in thee stood all the world, and in thy mind the sins here unconfessed glared merrily. And yond the tumid ears thy vision still in glory's bosom sears each plaintive breast that on thee cries. For skies here bend at will at thy fond asking. Hard by Godhead pressed. O oh, phantom not at rest, blessed ghost, not made of spectred vagabondage seeking prayer, but coming here with all, thou canst not fade as quickly as thy ears, but standing there in perfumed Glorio, thou teachest me how at this grill to see how all to see. A while back, the travelling man was here and he had been to San Giovanni Rotondo and he'd visited and venerated the confessional 
of the Drapier. And with his mobile phone, he had snapped one or two pictures of it. What was his surprise when this came out? And he came back to give me a printed version of the same. Oh, <laughs> 